Okay, we've got a beaker here. Looks like it may be holding 160 or so milliliters or cubic centimeters. What I'm gonna do is drop a cone inside here. You notice the base is pretty much the same as the base of this cylinder. I put it down in here. Its height is very similar to the height of this cylinder to where it does the final flare there. So I think we can use this to start estimating. You'll notice that when you look at the cone inside this cylinder, it takes up about a third of that picture. Now, it doesn't have cones on either side, but you kind of see three triangles in there. So if you just look at it visually, it looks like a third. And formulaically, it does take up a third of the volume of that cylinder. So what we're gonna do now is understand that I took Play-Doh and I filled up that cylinder. And then what I did was I got the same base flipped it upside down, and I made three of these cones out of the clay that came out of the cylinder. And you'll notice that they are all roughly the same size as the wooden cone. So that cylinder had enough clay to produce three of these. All right, my friend, we have three of these cones, and I told you that I made these cones out of the clay that filled up that cylinder, and I want to prove it, that we get three cones out of the same diameter cylinder. So go ahead, take those three cones and push them in. I would drop that right in. I go the other way, because it's hard to fill the bottom up. There you go. There's one cone. See if you can fill it up kind of the way we, we uh, pictured it. You see what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Do you think it's gonna fit? Yeah. It is, it, it was all in there. So you see how there's air in there, right? So you gotta like really make it burp. It's gonna make some cool sounds. All right, maybe mush it with this. How'd you do in terms of filling it up? Good. And you notice that the top of the cone came up a little bit shy of the lip, the lip. So I tried to be really careful with that. That looks like the same volume. Three cones with the same area of the base filled that thing up. Now, what we could do is figure out the volume of that cylinder. If we did, how do we get the volume of the cone? If I know what the volume of all this is, but the... how many of those cones are in there? Three. So what am I gonna do? Put that cone in there. You, what do you think? What are you gonna do? Put the cone in there three times and take it It out. won't fit in there three times. Because oh, it's wood. It what could we do out. with math to take this and find one third of it? It's the same as dividing by what? Three. And that's what the formula is. You figure out what the volume of the cylinder is and divide it by three, and you'll get the volume of that cone that fits inside of it. 